In 1921, on the streets of Munich, a motorcycle rolled out that made every engineer either laugh or cry. It was called the Megala, and it was the only production bike in history to put a five-cylinder rotary engine inside the front wheel. That's right. While other motorcycles put their engines in frames, the Megala looked at convention and said, no thanks, I'll spin my entire engine around like a carnival ride. This was not just unusual, it was a piece of mechanical audacity so strange that nearly a century later, it still holds the record for being the world's most bizarre yet functional motorcycle design. But was it genius or madness? Let's find out. And hey, before we get lost in whirling pistons and German eccentricity, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more weird, wonderful, and forgotten bikes. The early 1920s were chaotic years for Germany. The First World War had ended in defeat, the economy was crumbling under reparations. And yet, out of hardship, the motorcycle industry blossomed. Cars were far too expensive for the average worker, but two wheels offered freedom at a fraction of the price. Dozens of small manufacturers sprang up across the country, each fighting for survival in a market saturated with underpowered machines. At the same time, German engineering culture encouraged experimentation. If you thought of a wild idea, chances are someone would try to build it. And so, in this world of economic struggle, creative desperation, and a dash of insanity, the Megola was born. The Megala was designed by Fritz Cockerell, a German engineer who believed that traditional motorcycle layouts were inefficient. His philosophy was simple. If you want better handling, reduce the unsprung weight at the rear and put the engine where it could drive directly without chains or gears. Cockerell envisioned a machine that was compact, balanced, and, above all, unique. He teamed up with two businessmen, Meixner and Landgraf, forming the company Megola, from their names Meixner, Gockerell, Landgraf. Together, they set out to create a motorcycle unlike anything on Earth. While rivals like BMW were building sensible shaft-driven boxers and DKW was making lightweight two-strokes, Megala doubled down on eccentricity. Their bike would have no gearbox, no conventional clutch, and an engine spinning inside the front wheel like a mechanical gyroscope. Now, let's unravel this mechanical oddity. At its heart, the Megala carried a five-cylinder rotary engine. Not to be confused with Wankel rotaries, this was a true rotary. The entire engine block rotated around the axle. The Megola's technical specifications are defined by that extraordinary front wheel. The core of the machine is a 640cc five-cylinder, four-stroke, side-valve rotary engine. In a rotary engine configuration, the crankshaft is fixed to the front axle fork, and the five cylinders, which are mounted to the front wheel, rotate around the axle. The cylinders spin at six times the wheel speed, meaning at a top road speed of about 97 kilometers per hour, the engine is revolving at approximately around 3,600 revolutions per minute. Each cylinder features a bore and stroke of 52 millimeters times 60 millimeters, and the power output was approximately 14 horsepower for the Touring model, with sport versions reaching up to 25 horsepower. Fuel was fed by gravity from a tank in the box section frame to a header tank near the engine, where a hand-controlled butterfly valve regulated the throttle. Critically, there is no clutch and no gearbox. Power is delivered directly from the rotating cylinders to the front wheel. To start the bike, the rider must either push start it or use a stand yep. to lift the front wheel and rotate the tire by hand. The only way to stop without stalling the engine is to disengage the ignition. The frame itself is a box-like steel construction, housing the main fuel tank. Suspension was primitive but functional for the era, featuring a leaf-sprung front fork and, on the Touring models, a sprung rear wheel. Braking was handled solely by two independent drum brakes located on the rear wheel. The weight was significant due to the robust construction. Carburetion, a single carb feeding the rotating cylinders through clever intake plumbing. The layout was insane but elegant. 
As the front wheel spun, so did the engine, acting almost like its own flywheel. Transmission? Forget it. The Megola had direct drive. Twist the throttle, and the wheel turned. That meant no neutral, no gears, and very little engine braking. The frame was a tubular steel design, surprisingly conventional compared to its power plant. Suspension was rudimentary, a leaf spring on the front and a swing arm with springs at the rear. Brakes were equally modest with just a rear drum brake because fitting one inside the already crowded front wheel was nearly impossible. The Magola weighed about 100 kilograms, 220 pounds, light for a 1920s motorcycle and could reach speeds of 85 kilometers per hour, 53 miles per hour. Fuel economy? Around 4 liters per 100 kilometers, or roughly 60 mpg. Not bad for a rolling engineering experiment. Here's where things get wild. Despite its eccentric design, the Megala wasn't just a novelty, it actually raced. In the early 1920s, Megola entered endurance and speed competitions in Germany, and against all odds, it won. Riders praised its stability at speed, thanks to the gyroscopic effect of the spinning engine. The Megola could carve long, sweeping turns with an elegance that surprised everyone who mocked it at first glance. One tuned racing version reportedly reached 142 kilometers per hour, 88 miles per hour, an astonishing figure for its era. Imagine blasting past conventional bikes on a machine that looked like it belonged in a circus act. The Magola wasn't just a freak, it was a contender. Culturally, it became a symbol of German engineering audacity. While BMW went on to become a global powerhouse, the Magola faded remembered as the bold experiment that dared to challenge motorcycle orthodoxy. Between 1921 and 1925, about 2,000 megalas were produced. But given their unconventional design, fragile parts, and the economic instability of Weimar Germany, very few survived. Today, only 10 to 15 original megalas are known to exist worldwide. Most are in museums, like the Deutsches Museum in Munich, or in the hands of private collectors. At auction, if one ever appears, expect prices well over $150,000 USD, sometimes more. Replicas have been built by enthusiasts, but nothing matches the surreal experience of seeing an original, with its engine spinning hypnotically inside the front wheel. The Magola was proof that motorcycles don't always have to follow the rules. It was equal parts genius and madness, a machine that asked, what if the front wheel was also the engine? It didn't last long, and it didn't change the world, but it carved its name into motorcycle history as one of the strangest, boldest designs ever mass-produced. The Megola is more than a motorcycle. It's a mechanical dare, a rolling argument against convention, and a reminder that sometimes the craziest ideas are the most unforgettable. So next time you see a modern bike, remember, none of them will ever have the guts to spin their entire engine around like a Ferris wheel at 50 miles per hour. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this ride through history, hit subscribe, because on this channel, we bring back the machines that history almost lost. And who knows, the next episode might feature a motorcycle so weird even the Megala would look ordinary.